Hey guys, I'm um, doing another video on Bloodborne today, and this video is going to be on how to get unlimited blood echoes. So, if you want to do this, um, there's something about runes, I'm not sure, you don't really have to pay attention to that. But anyway, you want to spawn off in that clinic over there. Uh, just head off, you saw the path I just took there. Um, watch over this guy, he's quite a pain in the ass. I said I just shot him with my cannon and he kind of swung around and hit me. So, yeah, eventually I kill him. Now, this is kind of tombstone kind of thing over there. Yeah, you'll, you'll see it right, right in front of me if you're... Yeah, yeah. Now, you want to jump... I can't be bothered doing this. So, <laughs> you jump up it. Uh, like, basically, just run and jump it. And you'll end up on the ledge here. Run across here. Um, you'll see the little wedge there. You kind of head into there. When you're in that wedge, you kind of run and you jump where these sandbags are. And you should end up about here. And... Then, well, I'll quickly run around to show you where you end up. Oh, that guy's chasing me. Not here. Um, basically, you, you go past these gates, you'll want to open that up. Uh, you'll land in here. And then there's this kind of little crevice thing. You want to go down here. That's a little crevice. Uh, slide down. Keep sliding down. And there's another staircase. Not staircase, ladder. Head down this ladder. Again, taking ages. Any time now. And there we go. And just head off this direction. Just follow what I'm doing. Keep against this kind of wall bit. Uh, poisonous snakes, watch out. The water is poisonous as well. So if you stay in for too long, you'll uh, get slow poisoned. So you want to get out as soon as possible. And keep some antidotes on you just in case. Then you want to head out through this exit here, up here. Um, keep heading up here. Just kind of follow the cave. Uh, you'll end up in the Forbidden Woods. And <laughs> these dogs in these cages, you you want to have to you want to kill them. Uh, just kill all these. Kill this one. Um, make sure there's none left. And I know if the cages are open, then it will not work. The glitch will. If the dogs are out of the cages, then this glitch will not work. So, you want to head down back the way you came, basically. <laughs> yep, just go down the entrance. Try not to get lost. Uh, it looks kind of weird on the way back. Um, head back this way. Snake's lunging at me. Watch out, that guy! Oh! Ow. What a fucking prick. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> Up here. Uh... You know what, I might just skip this bit. No, not actually. Really. Just, just up these ladders. Um, keep going. It takes a while. <laughs> up the ladders some more. <sighs> you know what, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this bit. So, we'll be back at the exit. And we're back here. Um, actually, no, we've never been here. This is the first lamp, I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, the first lamp. Basically, you X out with that bit, and see, came out there, and then you see that's where the fat ogre was in there, and you climb up here, and then you obviously light the light if you want. Um, go past here, and watch out. There's a guy who <laughs> ambushes you if you. And you're going to want to run up and down here. See this bridge here? Just going to run up and down it. And every couple of seconds you should get, um... I think it's 2,000 blood echoes. Now I was talking about this rune. Um, basically, later on in the game you'll get runes. And what they do is they um, boost certain attributes. Like how much um, vials you can carry. How many bullets you can carry. Um, I, I think there's one for hit points. But there's one called the Moon Room, and as you can see there, on the Carol Rune effects, see uh, more echoes from slain enemies, and that's pretty helpful. Uh, when I, I think it's helpful when it comes to this, I'm not sure there's any effect. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to leave a comment, it does affect you know, how much echoes you gain. Uh, just feel free, you know. So anyway, the next video I'm going to be doing is going to be on how to get this weapon I'm holding right now. Uh, 
Chris or Taurus, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's an electrified weapon, and uh, it's really, really good. So yeah, please li uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.